Hi, this is Bridget. I hope that you enjoy this channeling or rather a visualization or meditation to connect with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Thank you so much for supporting the work at Above Life Channel on YouTube. All right, so Mr. Mercury, can you come on in, please? I would love for you to take us on a tour of the Garden Lodge. All right, so let's feel into the vibrational energy of a calming and peaceful energy. Now, I know you guys, as you're listening to this, you're excited. I know, I know. Let's remember, don't listen to this audio while you're driving. This is the kind of audio that you need to be able to listen to when you're relaxing at home in a comfy chair or, or perhaps lying down if you choose. So take a moment to feel into your physical body. Give yourself permission to just be here now, to relax right into this moment. Whew, I know there's some excitement, though. I can feel that in your heart chakra. Oh, my goodness. Let's allow your heart to open up, to be warmed with the loving energy, the red vibration of Mr. Freddie Mercury, as we are standing outside the Garden Lodge. Oh, yes, that big brick wall looks kind of ominous as we're on the outer edge. But don't worry. That door is going to open, and we are going to be guided in. Are you ready? Take a nice breath in. Nice big exhale. Allow your feet to be connected to the earth so that all the energies that flow through you through this experience can be grounded into your life now to inspire you, to provide you with, with momentum, with motivation, with a loving and encouraging energy. So we're standing outside. We're waiting for him to come. Jeez, is he always late, you guys? Is he always late? He opens up the door and he says, I'm not late. Well, perhaps fashionably, he says. And he opens up the door and we can step in. We're on the other side of the wall. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Freddie, it's nice to see you. It's good to be seen, he says. Can you take us on a tour of your home or at least bring us into part of your your sanctuary here? He says, you know, not at all, not at all. I didn't live that long here, you know. It's not like I was here for decades, but I did rather enjoy my time here. It definitely was most certainly a sanctuary, but it was a place of laughter and joy. And, you know, I did leave here. I did leave here. There is most clearly the spirit or a essence or part of me that is here. That if, yes, I know, I will say this, although I know it could ruffle some feathers, I may have left a bit of an energy here that unfortunately I know will upset you to know that if you could be here, and feel this place, you would feel me. And I know that there's a lot of anger or frustration about that, but it is the way it is. And it is for the living to decide what is best for the living. After all, this is why you have this and Bridget and our experience together. So we're walking down a path, you guys. It looks like, it's interesting because it's not, it almost looks like a wintry kind of vibe. Um, the, the trees don't have, it's more brownish, you guys, more muted tones. There's little kind of crunchy leaves on this little pathway, and there's these trees right in the middle. Um, there's kind of like a mound, and there's like trees in the middle. To the left, it looks like there's multiple buildings in here. To the left, there's a brick building. In the front, there's something that kind of looks like an entryway or something between two buildings. And then there's a little bit, kind of goes almost like a little, little bit of an L shape on the right side. Um, the building on my left looks like it has white. And I can't tell if it's all connected like a, like a U shape or if there's an L and then another building. It looks like there's two, maybe two buildings. It's hard to tell, though. I can't tell if this, this walkway is a... He says, oh, no, 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 let me take you in. Let me take you inside. So we don't go to the left side. We go to the right. There's a doorway on the right, and we go into the right. We're in what looks like a foyer. Oh, this is two levels, too. 
It says there's a cellar, but I don't think you much would want to see that. Looks like there's like a lower level, you guys, too, like a basement or something. We would call it a basement in the United States, just so you guys know. Uh, there you go. Um, there's a foyer here. It's not as grand as I, I mean, no offense, Fred. No offense, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Uh, it's not as grand as I would have thought it would be. Sorry. Well, I have to be a little humble, a little bit. Um, it is, there's a lot of stuff in here. There is a lot of stuff. Okay, so there's like a stairway. I think it goes off to the left and up. And there's something on the right that we can go over to another side. Um, to the right, I can't tell if it's a sitting room or if it's like a dining room. It's something that's not used a lot, to the right side. So the left, there's like stairway that goes up and then there's a big open space underneath like this, the second level kind of thing that goes across and then underneath we're gonna walk. And now it's white, a lot of white light energy, white energy. Hmm. Um, to answer your question, the master bedroom. Um, it looks like he crossed over upstairs. It looks like he's upstairs. He's not on the main level. Although it looks like he tried to come at one point, he wanted to be downstairs where all the windows were in the front room or in the room where there's like a fireplace there. And um, it kind of looks like a living room, but then there's like a, it's hard to tell because it looks like there's, it looks like a big, huge area, but it's kind of sectioned off into um, different parts. Although it doesn't, it kind of looks like it's trying to create different rooms, but there's no walls, if that makes sense. But there's these big pillory things or these beam-like things around. Um, he's got a lot. There's like statues and knickknacks kind of thing. I mean, no offense. Knickknacks is a, a word that we use in the United States because I know some of my UK friends will be like, you're what? You're what? Knickknacks, like, um, I see like a black cat, which is actually a nod to ancient Egypt. He said, very good, Bridget, very good. <laughs> the black cat the bast energy of the egyptian goddess energies mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He says look at this i got this from germany and he's rubbing his hand across the piano i don't know if he's talking about the actual piano itself or there's something on the piano that he got from germany um it's funny because it looks like there's a bust of someone like uh i don't know if it's beethoven or bach or what but there's a bust of someone kind of in the there's like um, these big um, like cabinetry kind of things, almost like for displays, but like the bottom half is like um, just wood, like cupboards op that open and the top half goes up to the, the, the almost, almost up to the ceiling. It doesn't go all the way up, but it goes almost up. These are high ceilings in here. Yeah, it's rather drafty. Sometimes it's kind of damp in here. It's a bit damp at times. It, it is, it is, it is a bit damp in here. Um, but it's marvelous, isn't it? It's rather like a castle a bit. It's a bit like a castle, don't you think? And he says something about Kensington Palace. It's a bit like that, don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> we, I, I guess, maybe. <laughs> it might be. Um, yeah, okay, so where should we sit? Ooh, let's sit on the couch by the fireplace. All right, sounds good. There's like an Asian rug or an Oriental kind of style rug, a beautiful rug in the middle there. The floors are wood. They appear wooden to me. Although it looks like there's tile, like a some kind of a big square tiles in the bathroom, I think. I'm curious about the upstairs, but we can sit here in the, the living room. It's one of the living rooms. It's like a sitting room, you guys. And there's a fireplace right there. And then there's piano kind of behind us over to the side, kind of by the bookshelves and stuff. Yeah, that black cat thing is cool. It's like a statue, you guys. It's cool. Um, so, Freddie, what do you like most about this place? It's quiet. It's private. People come only when they're invited. It is like a sanctuary. It is, it's private, it's quiet. I can be myself here. Ah, I invite you to do the same, he says. I invite you to do the same. To come and sit with me here on the couch. In front of the fireplace. Glass of wine in hand, red wine. Red wine. It's Red wine is far more romantic, you know. Red wine and the fireplace and... Maybe a good book. 
just a chat with friends, you know. It's lovely, isn't it? All right, you guys, do you feel the peaceful energy? Can you feel this comfortable home energy that Freddie is sharing with us? It's not so much about a tour of the Garden Lodge. It's about feeling the energy of Freddie Mercury and knowing that parts of his life were sacred, that he did have peace just as you do in the midst of chaos in your very busy lives, you have peace. There is such a calming and genuine energy here. Just feel that. Take a breath in, you guys. Let's take a breath in together collectively with Mr. Freddie Mercury. Take a nice breath in. And an exhale out. Allow your back and your your hips and your pelvis to just kind of sink into the couch, softening the rib cage, allowing a peaceful energy to wash over you, to create a comforting, soft, and gentle energy. Knowing that you deserve peace, comfort, and calm. You deserve it. A lot of red energy honoring the grounding vibration of your root chakra at the base of your feet coming up from the earth to allow this energy of peace to flow internally through all of the organs and the systems in your body, to allow a gentle ease of flow for your life force energy, for the Shakti that moves through you, for the honoring of your physical humanness, amplifying the energy of stillness, of quiet, allowing the expansion of peace, a peaceful awareness right at the center of your belly, right at your belly button, a beautiful disc of red energy mixing in with the golden energy of your spirit, allowing for a centering and expansion of peace, an opportunity uh, to just be here in this moment with the energy of Freddy loving you, supporting you, gifting you peace. Oh, what a beautiful gift. As you sit on the couch next to Freddie Mercury, you can't help but smile, can you? Feel the loving energy fill your mind and all of your thoughts with inspiration, creativity, hope, the pure essence and energy of love. Let it spark within you. Let the loving vibrational energy mix with peace, creating a pattern, a rhythm, a cycle of peace and love, allowing this to be part of, to become part of your genuine nature, your genuine day-to-day -day life as a spirit, as a person, wrapped in love and peace. These are the gifts. These are the gifts that are bestowed upon you from Master Freddie Mercury, from the afterlife here at the Garden Lodge. Know that you can come here at any point in time, and perhaps we should have other visits to the Garden Lodge and see other rooms in this beautiful sacred space and know that you can enter here as your own sanctuary or temple, however you choose to perceive it, that you can co-create an experience and connect with Freddie at any time you choose. Feel that vibration of that red energy, that 
inspired energy that just feels so happy, so at peace, so fulfilled with life itself. These are the gifts of this connection here with Freddie Mercury at the Garden Lodge. Oh, so I invite you to take a moment to, if you choose to, stick around. Have another glass of wine. Have a chat. Continue your conversation, your personal conversation with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Feel the good energy here. What hospitality. And give your physical body permission when you are ready to come out of this visualization and guided meditation. Gently and gradually by feeling your feet like the roots of a tree going deep into the earth. Feeling the coolness of the earth, connected and strong, feeling your feet. Reaching your arms to your knees and squeezing your knees to bring that energy up to the knees. Wrapping your arms around your midsection, crossing your arms at your waist and feeling your hips, the top of your hips. Bringing that red root energy to your hips, grounded and centered, connected to your physical body. Then reaching across your body to both your elbows, giving them a squeeze, bringing the energy up through the elbows, and then up, touching the top of the shoulders, squeeze your shoulders, give your shoulders a nice squeeze, bringing that energy of connection and grounding into the fullness of your shoulders across honoring the heart chakra. And then take a nice breath up and into the mind, opening the mind and gently opening the eyes, connecting back into the time that is now, into the life that is now. This is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to channel this connection at the Garden Lodge with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Thank you so much for your support of Above Life channel on YouTube. If you liked this particular video and audio, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new interesting afterlife connection video.